Hello, this is Mejia from Ethan's Loft. And um, we've been getting a lot of questions and a lot of comments on the YouTube channel. And, and I would like to answer as much as I can. Um, and I'll try to do it as short as I can, but I think there's so many questions and probably going to have to make a few videos. But one thing I want to uh, remind, remind you and ask you about is that, that please uh, subscribe to the channel. So that way it's going to be easier for me to keep track of um, your questions, your answers, and who I'm making the video for, and uh, who asked me what, and, and um, it'll be easier to keep up. If you subscribe and if you like the video, please like the video. And this is what it keeps us going with the videos, keep us uh, excited about it. And uh, we want to make more videos. Whenever I see that you like the video, I want to make more videos. And whenever you ask me something, I want to make the video for you so that way you have the answer. And so way, that way, if I got the answer, you got the answer. I mean, that's, that's how it's supposed to be, I guess. Um, that's what I want it to be. And the reason we make videos is because when I was trying to look for information and nobody's got the information, uh, it was very uh, stressful uh, kind of thing. But I've been learning for many years now for by pigeons and whatever I know I've been doing uh, still working for me. Uh, um, birds fly good. You train them, you feed them right and stuff and condition them real good. Um, and that's all you need to do, you know, and the little bits and pieces that you have to put together to keep them in like these boxes, like um, young bird loft and the old bird loft and stuff like that, whatever details. Anyway, we're going to start with the questions. People were saying, how long do you keep birds in the nest boxes? So the thing is that <clears throat> you're going to keep them in these boxes, I guess. Mm. I don't know how to answer that one really, but if they are not a mated pair, they don't belong together, if you start in that pair, it's a way to introduce the birds, or I guess a way that I do it, but they are mated, they belong together, they are a pair, um, you're going to put them on this box, and the reason on the box is, to me, is that the other birds, like that one flying right there, um, it's not going to come and bother this pair because it's, it's time to that they can have some babies and they're going to be disturbed too much and, and, and it'll just mess up the whole process of it. So it'll be better if they are on a box, <clears throat> then nobody's bothering them. So they feel secure, they feel good about it and they, they're going to have babies, they are pairs. And it's time for breathing, they're going to have a baby, you know. So that's, that's, that's mainly to me of the reason for the box. And like this one is uh, flying around here, it's not going in there and bothering them. By mistake, they can go in there and start bothering the nest. Maybe already have eggs. <clears throat> Maybe he doesn't have eggs. But the male is going to guard that nest box. That's his nest box. And that's for me, that's why I put the door. But if you uh, already got everybody pair up, they belong to that nest. I guess you can open it and let them fly in and out, you know, in and out. They already belong to um, that nest. But by mistake, another one can come in and start fighting with the other one. Just to avoid that, I guess you can keep it close a little longer. You can just leave it open if they belong together. Thus, they are all pair up. I guess um, if they are all pairs, you don't really have to close the door, I guess. They already know what nest they're going to go and and um, which one is their mate so i guess that's up to you really uh up to the pair um, they already pair got a nest um they're gonna go back to their nest but if you want don't want nobody to bother them just keep it closed and um i guess that's how we can answer that question it will depend up to you if you like me i got this separation here only one bird there because i'm not gonna bring her so i'll let her out and um, I can also put her on the other loft, but um, I guess that'll be up to you. But if they pair up, and they already know the box, the box, <clears throat> the nest, you don't have to close it. And then if you want to pair, 
two of them, then you close it. So to keep them in there and they, they gonna recognize that nest and they're gonna go back to that nest. Whenever they start having eggs, I guess they'll choose that nest. So that way you can open it because they already got eggs, they already choose the nest. So now they're gonna go in and out. You got the food outside or whatever. Myself, I put the food inside, you know. But I guess I hope that answered your questions. You have a great day.